Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Carson Rock 35 here. Welcome back to another episode of our Pokefine Minecraft Adventures. Today, it's all about Eevee trading our uh, anniversary Venusaur that we got last episode. So, if that was a spoiler if you didn't make last episode, so make sure you go check it out and leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps out the channel. Anyways, so besides that, we also need to severely raise the happiness of our Houndoom. So that is our quest. So that is one of the reasons I am implying this into a video instead of doing it in the background as as a like an EV training it's the, just the fact that um, it's literally a part of the purification quest we need to raise this guy's happiness the only way we can do that is let him out of the pokeball and battle with him so anyone that we're not EV training speed or special attack for our Kyoto v or our s s yeah speed and special attack for a Kyoto Venusaur everything's going to be done in Houndoom now I can trade Venusaur EV train it in Gen 1 which is what I started out because if we check its EVs I've got about 50 51 in speed but nothing in special attack it hurts that I don't have a special attack uh bracelet but i'm gonna have one of those very soon uh probably within the next couple of days uh, i'll have some more tokens for that so it's not gonna be a big deal otherwise it's just EV training or Venusaur and getting our Houndoom's attack uh, raised a lot higher. Now, he starts at level 50, so in all reality, we can use him for many things uh, to train against. At the same time, something we need to uh, remember is, I've thought about this, is if we need to split our special attack and our attack EV yields in half, so like 136 and 136, the reason I say this is because he's a fire ground type. Fire moves in purely special usually, and ground types are purely physical usually. So. Depending on his move sets, we'll see that as it plays out. Um, luckily, it's not too hard to get uh, berries right now. We have plenty of cash, so we're not worried about it at all. Um, so hopefully, it won't be such a big deal to us. Now, we're going to come over here to the trainer that we know that's back here and battle him with our Houndoom. And we're going to put our EXP share on. Uh, Espeon doesn't need it. Uh, let's just go ahead and throw this on to Blissey. Blissey's gonna need it, that or Tyranitar, but Tyranitar can also get its own XP, so it's not as bad. So let's go ahead and battle with this guy here. We don't want to give Kyoto, uh, Venusaur, our XP because he's also gonna get the EVs from the battle, and we don't want that. So let's go ahead and just use Shadow End on this Shmeargle. Apparently, we missed Shadow's End, and that hurt us. Thanks a lot. Um, so if you haven't realized the point of happiness for this Houndoom and what we're trying to do for the quest is we're trying to reverse the shadow process in a way. The purification process, what it comes down to is if the happiness is at its max in its lab so we can use the process to get rid of all the negative effects of a shadow Pokemon but keep the shadow's abilities. So it basically stops being a bad Pokemon. That's, that, that's what it is. We're basically stopping him from evil, being an evil Pokemon while keeping all the extra abilities. That is the goal of this purification quest. And hopefully we can get done uh, with it. And not too short of a time, but not too long of a time either. Um, because we want to get on to the other quest. So ditto here. You're going to do that for us. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and use Shadow Break on you. Houndoom, you Shadow Break. That did nothing to this ditto. And wow, he raised Sword Stance. Ow, our Houndoom. So does Ditto not... Look, it's an axe. That's funny. It's not an actual... So does Ditto not take Shadow Reverse, even though it's formed as a Shadow Pokemon? It's like, that's really weird to think about. Uh, let's just use Sucker Punch then, I guess. It's too consumed to darkness. And there goes our Houndoom. That's... Look, fantastic, guys. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, let's just go ahead and lead out with Tyranitar then and get some EXP on him, which wouldn't be a problemo at all. Let's just go ahead and use Ice Fang. It doesn't really matter. We've got levels and our stats on him. And bye bye ditto. Thank you so much for the experience. Now I have no idea how long it's going to take us or what the technical max happiness of a Pokemon is in this game. Um, or how to tell. I know we have Aunt Bibby, but I don't know what the max level is. I would assume something like Jolty on everything, they're at the max level. As long as they don't have to be trained severely and with levels and stuff to be max level, I am completely okay with doing this. As long as it doesn't take an overly overwhelming amount of time just because we have to level him up to get happiness that way. As long as that is not the uh, issue or the problem or the solution or whatever it is, the status, then we don't have to worry about it at all. 
really, I'm surprised we didn't one-shot that milk tank. We're basically 30 levels of love with, above with Stab, so I would have figured we would have one-shot him. But I guess milk tank is bulkier than we got credit for. And our Blissey, by the way, guys, is absolutely killing it. 514 HP, and we're only at level 72. This is incredible. We're getting so up there, and our special defense is 265. It's absolutely insane. That Blissey, when fighting against the right Pokemon, is going to be incredibly for a tank wall defense. I cannot wait. I am so stuck to be able to use him, especially once he's level 100. If we're at 514 HP now on this Blissey, God, I'm thinking like maybe 700 HP. I have no idea how much he gets per level and everything, um, but I think it's seven per. So maybe with 20 level, 24 levels left. So I don't know, seven, no, 28 levels left. So four HP. I don't want to do the math. It's confusing me in my head. Oh no. Oh wait, I can battle you for speed evis. That's what I can do. Hi, Radicate. We're gonna send you with a magnitude. So I did have. Uh, move sets on Venusaur as we switched them out though when leveling him up because we originally had uh, not only Eruption but Inferno on him as well as Explosion um, but I got rid of Explosion and Inferno for Mud Slap, Magnitude, and Will-O-Wisp I thought it was better um, especially because he's only level 21 we have a lot more levels to go to figure out what moves he's going to learn and how best to use him um, plus Inferno is only 50% accuracy and if we have Eruption I don't see the need for having Inferno so I just felt like it was a better choice and Kyoto Venusaur just fainted that's fantastic so we can't take on level 29 Radicate that's beautiful. Houndoom, you're going to come on out and clean up for us, bud. Because uh, I don't have anyone else to use. Shadow Break. Bye-bye, Radicate. You should finish off. Yeah, I was like, he should be finished from that move, like, severely. Thank you. I don't care about the XP on this guy. I, I just wish there was a better way to check his happiness in all reality. Why is all his IVs 19? Everything on his IV sets is 19, 19, 19, 19. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. And they put him in a Master Ball. Like, seriously, we haven't gotten a Master Ball yet, and they're still going to do this to us. One bonus is us getting close to finishing Gen 2 is, uh, not uh, Gen 2 completely, but the Gen 2 team, is that means we're getting close to the point where we can backtrack just a little bit to see what we can do in the Gen 1 Pokefine finale. See if we can get our Articuno and everything like we originally wanted, uh, and that would be absolutely sick. Because we have so many Pokemon, ooh, I did not mean to bring up that. Uh, right now that we could put onto our finalized team like because we each when if you've listened to me before we've talked about each season having a gen uh a gen that generation of pokemon will have a team for that generation you know gen one gen two gen three and so on team and then we'll have a final team overall with a choice from basically all the selection overall of which pokemon we want for our team and that's kind of the idea of it um i have no idea when that would be i think that'd be more for like elite four and champion battles um, we could use uh, the gen team until we got up to it, and then we, and when we battle a champion and everything, that's when we would use our team from the other generations. That's kind of the idea of it, but at the same time, we have to get to Gen 4 and everything, and wait for Gen 5 to be released still, uh, before we get to that point. So let's go ahead and boom, Shadow Break on Jigglypuff. So we do need to check his happiness at some point or another, but I'm not sure how much happiness is actually going to be gained on this guy we just need to keep battling with him over and over again so we can get more and more levels with this guy um levels having him out of the pokeball and battling with him um not fainting those are the best ways to keep his happiness up as far as i know i don't know without a soothe bell if there's any other way and we don't have like a soothe bell or anything like that to help us so it's kind of a, a stuck situation shadow break use quick attack our reverse mode might finish us off after this then with that quick attack and at least we finished off the first i don't know if the levels of pokemon make a difference in the happiness or not at all when we gain, gain it from battling i i just think it kind of gets happiness from being out um but i have no idea how the stats are gained um overall uh exponentially i mean Thank you for battling. Yes, thank you very much. Honestly, let's go to... Actually, we can just teleport to Ant Baby. I'm not worried about cash. Hello, Ryder. We need a teleport because I don't want to walk through the mountains over there. 
Yes, I know I'm lazy, but you don't have to tell me, okay? I just like the teleport system. Where is Aunt Bibby? Bibby, Bibby, Bibby. Aunt Bibby's home. Hi. Yes, I need you to research my happiness, please. Research the happiness of my houndoom. Can you finish talking, please? Houndoom. Okay. I say you Pokemon have... Okay, so that hasn't changed since last time. That's fine. But I'm assuming Espeon from Gen 2 has best happiness out of all of them. So that... We're going to test Espeon. Uh, my, it feels incredibly close to you. Nothing makes it happier than being with you. See, that's kind of cool. Okay. So, Espeon, we know, is pretty much max. So that's the goal for Houndoom. Um, we need to heal it up, though, heal in the Twainer. I mean, the Pokemon Center. Do, 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 healing, healing. So, outside of battling and leveling up, there's nothing we can do for it, but it's going to be harder than we expect to uh, train with this guy. I'm not really sure how well this is going to go or how quick this is going to go. Ooh, is that a Rapid Dash and an Earth Ring? Holy crap. Wow, these guys don't spawn around here every single day. That's insane. I wish these would have spawned around here, you know, when I was on the side of Gen 2 earlier. That's so annoying. Because I recorded my 15 minutes in Pokefine video that came out Saturday, last Saturday, at, right before this. And I couldn't get any Pokemon to spawn at all for my Gen 2 side. It was ridiculous. Shadows and it t I swear it misses all of its attacks. What is the point of shadow Pokemon if they miss all their attacks? Seriously. You snore but it failed. Shadow Break, come on, how much are you gonna do on this earth ring? Almost completely finished it up. That's nice. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's just continue using Shadow Break. Please don't miss again. You're gonna rest seriously, Earth Ring? I don't wanna have this game with you. I just wanna raise my Pokemon's happiness. We're not playing this back and forth sleepy sleep game okay it's annoying enough with the furrets and the snorlax and the jigglypuffs and the wiggly tufts and the higgly and biggly buffs i ran out of pokemon that i could think of shadow break get rid of this earth ring around him seriously we don't want him on the squad thank you uh, absolutely fantastic we need some potions on our inventory to heal this guy up uh there goes hound him hyper potion heal you up easy peasy now we can fight this rapid dash hi rapid dash you're gonna take on my hound but i don't think you're gonna win this shadow break at least we went first this time how much is that gonna do one shot that rapid dash there we go that's gonna make it so much easier if we can keep doing that for the rest of our uh, team or training come on there we go I hate how long it takes sometimes for the battle to actually end, even though you've already fainted the Pokemon. It can be really annoying. Um, for it, I don't want to deal with rest. Oh, uh, sure, I'll deal with the Jolpec Fero. It might be better. Okay, and Shadow Break. So, after we get this guy's happiness up and we've trained up Venusaur, the only thing we need to left do is train up our... Uh, Shucky, a.k.a. our Lantern, our Water and Electric type. And once we do that... Um, we'll be completely set for the rest of the quest. Now, we're going to be taking those quests on as we train our Pokemon up. Because we already have four Pokemon on our team completely trained and ready. But it's something we can do along the way. And so we grow our team as we have our adventure. So it's going to be much more dynamic, I feel like. You know, kind of like the can't... Uh, I keep... Oh, every time I want to bring up anime, the, the anime show, I always bring up a canon. Because... Usually it's something related towards the show that's popped up, but it's not this time. It's, it's really weird. Oh, giraffe break. Bye-bye. So, I'm curious about how much I have to battle with this guy to get his happiness full. Like, do I have to get him trained in high levels? Do I need to just battle with him a bunch? I mean... <laughs> I don't know what's the best way to do this. And I'm almost to the point where I can battle level 55 trainers. I can't do that yet. I'm about half a level away. Um, and that really sucks that we're not there yet. Because it would be so helpful right now to train this Houndoom. And I know we could teleport to a bunch of different cities. But we'd get one, maybe two trainers in. And it would be just really, really slow, I feel like. What's around here? Oh, there's a Pidgeot. Where is the Pidgeot? Pidgeot, Pidgeot, Pidgeot. Where are you? Come on, you'd be a great asset to battle against. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm getting farther away, so I need to head towards this direction. This thing had to have just spawned. No way it hasn't, because it wasn't over here earlier. Come on, come on, come on. No, it's gone now. 
What? Where was it? Where is he? Pidgey, uh, he's on the team. I mean, he's on the screen again. Come on. Radar, don't let me down this time or ever again. Come on. I need to get around this stupid fencing. Thank you. This giraffe rig. Where is it? Pidgeot. Where are you? 64 meters. See across the river? 68 meters? Do I need to go this way? 51 meters. Oop, we're going the right direction. We're going the right way. Come on. This would be great happiness points. I feel like the... I, I just feel like the better the Pokemon in the battle, the better the happiness yield you would get out of it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. But at the same time, you don't want to pass up a Pidgeot. Come on. Where are you, blood? Pidgeot. I'm still 51 meters away. How is that even possible? See, now I'm 74. Like, what? Am I getting closer if I go this way? No, 78 if I go this way. 70, so it's clearly this way. This is really weird. I can't find this guy. There's a Meowth up there. Maybe I need to be looking more in the sky, but still. Pidgeot. P -p 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 Pidgeot. Seriously, where is this guy? I can't find him anywhere. 73 meters. I give up. You know what? I just... I'm done with it. Slash spawn. I have no idea where that Pidgeot is. Ugh. But I guess it's not a necessity, so we don't have to go after it. And Shadow Break on this Epalm. Boom. Get out of here, Epalm. So, guys, I think this is where I'm going to wrap up today's episode. I know it was sh one of our, our shorter ones, and we've had more of them lately. And I know we didn't get a whole lot done, but... I wanted to not overdo filling in the quest um, off screen, but at the same time, I didn't want to do so much of it since it's just training on screen. So I thought just a short episode of training with the Houndoom would be well for happiness, and then I can focus on it off screen, and you guys would understand and enjoy that. So it's not too much of the same thing. But that's where we're going to end up today's episode. Hope you guys all did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to be the part of the rock stars subscribe seriously you guys will help out the channel a lot i'll appreciate it and you can enjoy the amazing family slash community that we have here and anyways peace peace and i'll see you all later bye